Dissecting the word government reveals its true purpose. Govern means simply to control. Ment is short for mental. So the meaning of government is simply mind control. Governments exercise this control over the minds of its subjects by use of a concept called authority, which is the physical power to exert this control. Government always resorts to violence to exert its authority. Without violence, governments as we know them could not exist. Some people assume that authority happened as a result of a few bullies that made themselves kings and queens and pushed everyone else into submission. Not true. Actually, looking way back, our ancient ancestors created royalty not to impose authority, but to engender harmony and order. In those most ancient of times, a person was selected to be king so that he might serve as a scapegoat for the crimes and wrongs of the nation. This selected person was lavished with luxury, fed well, and given sexual partners in order that he might take the rap for any crime committed in his kingdom. In other words, if someone was killed, or robbed, or criminally wronged, he would be sacrificed for that crime, and a new king would be selected. Barbaric, you might say, but wait. During that time, the king worked all day and night to promote order and harmony, so that no one would be motivated to murder. He would make sure that everyone was well-fed and happy, so that theft would not occur. He strived constantly toward promoting accord. After all, his very life depended upon it. That system died. After the intervention of Yahweh, or was it the Demiurge, or was it Lucifer, posing as God, the divine right of kings was established. This doctrine said that certain entities, bred as royalty, were given the right to control everything. Your mind, your body, your possessions, the earth, and all of its inhabitants. This malevolent force gave its evil spawn the authority to do whatever they wanted, to whomever they wanted, whenever they wanted. They killed, raped, and tortured, and made mankind a slave race. Through the use of their official organs of violence, known as the military and police, they robbed and denigrated humanity, and continue to this day. Controlling slaves always taxed these government organs of brutality, so religions were birthed to control and suppress human activities when an army or police force was not on sight. Man was taught that God knows when you are doing bad things and will punish you forever in hell if you disobey authority. As humanity passed through a feudal period, the government gave the illusion of property ownership to the slaves, officially known as serfs at this time, but then pulled it back, suddenly and catastrophically. Taking advantage of the knowledge that no one is more enslaved than those who believe themselves to be free, democracy was created to further reduce the cost of government. In this system, slaves are allowed to select their oppressors from a list given to them by the ruling class, the evil spawn. This ingenious system gave government the same authority as in the past, but also allowed the slaves to begin to blame themselves, and each other, for their predicament. Freedom means freedom from mind control, freedom from surveillance, freedom from violence. How free are you? For more information on how you are controlled through your beliefs, pick up a copy of Belief Magic by Dr. Paul Marco. Free your mind, and the rest will follow.